Hi and welcome to Priori Digital Studio Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use your net worth tracker spreadsheet in the most efficient way. In this video, I'm using Google Sheets, but the Excel version is exactly the same. First thing, we protect most of the cells where there are formulas to make sure that you don't erase any important formulas that could impact the spreadsheet. So if you see this message, it means you are not supposed to touch it. But don't worry, I will show you step by step how to prepare your spreadsheet. If you do touch a cell that has a formula and see this message, you can simply click on the X and you will be fine. Moreover, we establish a color code to show you which cell can be edited and which one cannot. So basically, you only can edit the cell where you have a white background. Another small warning, please do not move a cell from one place to another. If you do move a cell, it could generate an issue by messing up the automatization of the spreadsheet. The best way to avoid these errors is to copy and paste your data. So now let's take a look at the net worth tab. The net worth tab will help you visualize your financial worth over time. The first thing you want to do in this tab is to set up your currency symbol. So you can simply type in your currency. So here I do have a dollar sign, but you could type in the euro or the sterling pound sign. Anything works. Then once this is done, you will be able to list all your assets and then your liabilities. So let's have a look at the asset. As you can see, it's already separated into a few categories. You have cash and bank accounts, investment, properties, and then other asset. And then let's scroll down to the liabilities. As you can see, it's the same thing. So it's already categorized. We have the short-term debts, the long-term debts, and then other liabilities. So now let's take an example and enter something into the asset table. Simply write down savings account. So simply type in the information and then let's write the starting balance. Let's say we have $5,000. And then for each month, you simply enter the amount you have into your savings account. So let's say it increases by $100 per month. So then we will have $5,100, 5200 5300 and then you see the drill. So let me enter the information. So as you see now, in September, we are up to $5,900. So you want to do this, and then each month, you want to look at all your assets and all your liabilities and enter the new amounts. So we can do an example here. So let's say we are now in at the end of September or the beginning of October, and we want to update our data. So let's say in the bank account, we increase also by $100. So we are at $3,800. Let's say here we are at $42,000, let's say $7,300, and then my savings account, it should be $6,000. So you do that for your whole month and for both your assets and your liabilities. So I will fill in the spreadsheet and show you the impact above with the graphs. So now that everything is filled in, the sheet will automatically calculate everything for you. At the top, you will be able to see your overall net worth, your annual growth in dollars or in euros, depending on your currency, and also in percentage. In the chart, you will be able to see your net worth over the months. So as you can see here, we have data for October as well, the one that we entered. We also have a graph for the difference between your asset and liabilities, as well as the asset distribution. And then on the left hand side, you also have your total net worth and your annual growth, meaning that, for example, during this year, we increased our net worth by one hundred and sixty three thousand dollars, which is about sixty five percent of our net growth. So that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you easily set up your spreadsheet. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Follow Priori Digital Studio on YouTube for sneak peeks on our new templates.